Hey guys, today's video is scandalous and I have been embarrassed about this problem that I'm having and I have not told anyone except like three people because as you can see from the title of this video, it's it's weird. Like, why am I talking about this? What's happening with me? But I just want a disclaimer this. I'm gonna be talking about my junk. So if you know me in real life and you don't wanna know about my junk, then click off. But I know all y'all are perverts and you wanna know about my junk, so you're probably still gonna watch this video. I'm kidding, but I mean, I really don't care. I make these videos, my dad, watches my videos, so hello daddy. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple of things um, related to what's happening with me down there. And I would like to share this experience with you in case it is happening to anyone else, um, or it has happened to someone else and you have advice for me, or to scare people, obviously. Uh, <laughs> um, so let's get into it, yeah? So what in the world am I talking about? Well, I'm gonna be using some terms, by the way, so we're just gonna like, we're just gonna go all out today. So, I, when I masturbate, I am able to finish very quickly if I want to, like a minute, if I want to. Or I can make it last for like 20 minutes, um, depending. But I feel like I'm very good at pleasuring myself <laughs> that it usually ends up being like five minutes. Um, and it's quick and that's it. And it's been fine like that for a very long time. Um, and it, it's just, it's easy, no complaints. But recently, I have complaints. And recently, I've noticed that it's very, very, very hard for me to get off and finish. And I don't know why. And, um, like, I have to press very hard and I have to, like, go really fast for anything to even feel good. And this whole time, I was like, oh, like, maybe I've been doing it too much. Like, I really don't do it that often. Like, it sounds like I do, but really, like, I don't. Um, like, I don't know, maybe like I used something that was vibrating and that like messed me up. And originally that's what I thought that it was because I have the Bono uh, from Transthetics and I was using it um, on myself as like a solo thing because I'm reviewing it as a solo product and as a partner product. And um, there's a vibe attachment to it and I'm not used to vibe in that area. So I guess I was like, oh, maybe it's because the vibe was a little too intense for me. Maybe that's why I feel different and that it's like different and a bit harder for me to finish now. Um, but I'm going to tell you that about a month ago, I realized that I'm completely numb down there. And when I had that realization, I, 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 I freaked out and I texted my very close friend who knows everything about everything trans related and um, I will link his uh, Tumblr in the description. It's GenderCube. I've talked about him a hundred times. He is great. He has all of the resources and knows everything. So what do I do? I talk to him. He doesn't know what's wrong with me and if he doesn't know, who's gonna know? And I don't want to go to a doctor for this because I don't have a general doctor and the only trans doctor that I have is my endo and I can't talk about that with him because it's like he doesn't do, he doesn't touch your body, he just prescribes you testosterone. Um, so I'm kind of at a loss. I don't want to go to the clinics that I go to around here, especially to be like, hey, my dick is numb. Um, can you look at it? Oh, by the way, I'm trans. So what you're expecting, you're not gonna see. Um, I really don't want to deal with that because all of these doctors have zero, zero training in trans health and it terrifies me to have to go and explain everything once again. I'm sick of it. It's very tiring. I made a video about like doctors and medical professionals. Go watch that. I don't want to rant about that right now. So what's actually happening? So I'm gonna be graphic right now. If I'm touching it, it's like the only thing that I can feel is the outside skin and I can't feel the actual dick. And if you're like really confused and you're like, Chase, what are you talking about? What's your dick? It's the growth that you get from taking testosterone. Your, and I'm not gonna use this word, I'm okay using this word, but people are not okay hearing this word and I don't wanna trigger anyone. Starts with a C and then has another letter that starts with an L. You probably got it. So that grows when you're on testosterone and it becomes extra sensitive and it's very good and it's like really easy to finish and it's like sex becomes like more intense and your orgasms are like harder and like more of an explosion and it's really great. Um, and I've never had this problem before and it is very scary and it feels like I can only touch the skin. That's the only thing I can feel and I can't feel the actual peen under the skin unless I press so hard on it and I go so fast and that actually takes me 10 minutes. This arm, I will tell you, I have literal muscles because... <laughs> video 
on YouTube. All of my friends watch this. Also, hello to the like 10,000 subscribers that I've gotten in the last month. I love you all. I hope you're enjoying this dick video. God, Chase, why do you do this to yourself? So, what do I think is the cause of this? I have been on finasteride for two years now. Finasteride is a medication that I take that helps to not make this beautiful hair that I have fall out. I have a problem where my hair fell out too quickly and I'm like, I have only lived as male for like five years. This isn't fair that I'm balding at five years old, basically. So I went on finasteride. Um, there are some side effects to it and I've never really felt any of them. And I don't know if this is a side effect of that, but I'm attributing it to that because a lot of medication that deals with hair loss, like a DHT inhibitor, um, also um, do things to cis men's peens, as in like their peen shrink, their sex drive goes down and all that stuff. And I know that sex drive going down, I believe is a side effect of finasteride. So I, I, I have a high sex drive. Like I want to have sex. I am having sex with someone and I am enjoying it and I feel good and it feels great. I just can't feel it. And it's very frustrating when I'm like ready to be done and it's like, the only way that I can finish is if something is inside me. And, hello. <laughs> I'm not uncomfortable talking about this. I could literally talk about this in front of my dad. I really don't care. Um, I just, like, it's funny that I just, I don't know who's watching this. That's why it's funny to me. Also, my cats are watching me, like the puss. Mm. Anyway, so I'm attributing it to finasteride. I'm gonna be off of that now. I, I, today was, like, I didn't take it today. And I'm not gonna be taking it for the next couple of months just to see if it has anything to do with it. Pray to God that that's what it is. Because if it's not that, I don't know what else it could be and I'm gonna have to go to a doctor and I really don't wanna do that. Um, but a part of me really doesn't want it to be that because I would like to keep taking it because I would like to keep my hair. So what I will do in the meantime is get DHT blocking uh, shampoo so that my hair remains beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. I just don't wanna lose my hair, it's not fair. I'm on T almost seven years and like my hair's like, and I'm like, can we not do this right now, please? Can we not? Can you just give me like a couple more years? I'm 26 years old. Just a couple more years, man. A I've only lived as male for seven years. Like this isn't fair. Anyways, no complaining about that. Um, but I will tell you that if somebody is down there sucking on my peen, I can feel it. And it feels very, very good and very sensitive. So it's it's weird. It's like the different sensations. Like if like a hand or fingers or something go on my peen, I can't feel it. But if a mouth does, I feel it. I'm being really graphic. I'm having uh, fun with this right now. So it's, it's, it's really confusing. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know if this has happened to anyone. I'm really trying to not like scare anybody into like not going on testosterone or like not taking finasteride because I know a bunch of people who are on that. Um, but I guess I'm just more concerned for my dick because like um, it would be nice to be able to feel um, things because sex is good and I have a lot of toys that I'm looking at right now that I have to review. And I definitely need to feel them. So I would like to feel my peen. <laughs> Anyways, my dick is numb. That's the fucking moral of this video. Sorry if that was vulgar, but that's literally what's happening. I'm very worried. I feel like I am like starting to be more comfortable in my body in some different ways. I don't know how to explain that, but like, why is it that I'm finally feeling good and now I can't feel my thing, my thing, my thingy, my wiener? Why, why is this happening to me? Anyways, it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. And I would like to know if you have any advice for me or if you know of anything that could happen or, it's just confusing because like, there are no studies on trans men taking this medication. And I know if you actually look on Wikipedia, finasteride is sometimes given to trans women before they start to transition. And like, yeah, kind of counterintuitive. And I'm just, I just, I don't want to lose my hair, but I would like to feel my dick. So it's like, I have to make the decision. If it is finasteride that's doing this to me, do I want to keep my hair or do I want to feel my peen? What do you think I'm going to choose? Call 929-224 like, <laughs> to vote. Which one do you think I'll keep? I'm kidding. Uh, okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing the videos. My videos are still being flagged um, and I am trying to deal with that right now with an appeal letter to YouTube and dealing with different like news outlets and stuff like that to get this problem solved because this is my channel and this is my life and I love all of you and I want to keep making review videos but at the moment I'm too scared that they'll all get age restricted. So that is it for me today. I love you all so much. You make me happy.
and the support that you give me the last two weeks of all this horrible age restricting stuff is I feel loved feel very loved so thank you and uh, give me advice on the peen okay love you bye